Here we are at Battery Studios in London, here in Wilsleton, Wilsden. Uh, lovely place. Lots of things to do here. <laughs> here we are, mixing the, the new record, The Ritual, 1992. Why did you choose to mix it here? Um, well, we're working with uh, Tony Platt and uh, Nigel Green. And, uh, they're English. And uh, we kind of flew them out to the Bay Area where we did the record. We're down in L.A. But uh, this is one of the studios they're used to working in. And, you know, they feel comfortable in this studio. So I figured why not get out of San Francisco for a couple of weeks anyhow. So. Why did you choose them? Uh, we chose Tony basically because, uh, you know, in the past, couple records we always get this Metallica comparison you know metal Bay Area scene Bay, Bay Area sound and all that well we wanted to kind of get away from like your basic American heavy metal mixes and all that stuff so Tony's done a lot of records we liked you know ACDC Back in Black and Led Zeppelin IV Highway to Hell and all that and uh, you know we're like wow those are some of our favorite records to listen to you know it's got a different sound you know let's, let's go with something different you know this year than go for the basic metal sound. Souls of Black was quite heavy lyrically in a way and quite yeah, down Chuck was, in a way. Chuck was in that kind of state of mind. What about this album? Um, it's more of just about things that we've gone through in our lives, you know, just growing up and um, just things that are involved in this certain age, you know. It's not so much kind of like a fantasy dark kind of tale, you know, it's more real. Before we had all these ideas and riffs, we we're cramming them in these songs and trying to form this song out of all those ideas with not much time to do it. You know, we had to settle pretty quick on stuff. Whereas this year we had a lot of time to do a few demos and listen to the material over and over and over again and really pick out where the drums fit them in the pockets where we're, you know, with some heavy riffs. And I think, you know, that that's, it shows it's, the songs are a lot stronger on this record because, because of it. I think the direction is more of a straight ahead kind of a rock heavy sound where it's not so much like 20 riffs in one song it's more like one riff through the whole song just kind of crunching away so i think that's more of the sound we want to go for as far as the music goes it's pretty much the same you know it's the band this time around lyrically uh chuck got some help with words from um this guy named del james who's like a friend of ours he also writes for rip magazine and uh he had some good ideas, so we worked with them. Came out pretty cool. I think the whole thrash scene probably died like, a couple years ago. I think the thrash scene, there was like so many bands coming in the thrash scene. I think there's like a lot of bands that uh, you know started copying other bands, and, and either it's like I got to get heavier, I got to be heavier than that band, and then it kind of moved into this death metal, you know, scene. And it's either extreme, either death metal, or you went over to the other side. You know, and I don't think we've went sold out commercial or anything. I think we're like somewhere in the middle of playing our thrash roots, but trying to make it, uh, um, I guess, more enjoyable to play, memorable to play. I guess the songs are a lot more memorable, putting more melody into the song. Whereas, you know, thrash, it was like, you know, it was, it was fun. It's still fun to play the songs. You know, we still do that, but you know, I think we kind of just matured out of that musically as, as bands and people.